This is just a quick lesson on vernier calipers. Remember that the vernier is going to increase the precision of a measurement compared to, say, a ruler. Um, to get an even higher precision measurement, we'd want a micrometer. Okay. Um, the resolution of the resolution of a vernier caliper is often written at the end of the vernier sliding scale, or it's written at the end of the actual major scale. Um, this particular one measures in both inches and in um, centimeters. The vernier can measure three different modes. One, it can measure the outside of an object. Remember to tighten the thumb screw and remove your object when you're actually reading the measurement. It can measure the, the inside of an object okay, using the, the upper caliper portion. And it can also measure the, the depth of an object with the plunger because as you slide the vernier scale the plunger comes down. To take a reading, well let's find this center axle portion, tighten the thumb screw, carefully remove the object, and now we'll take a reading. So this reading starts with the zero mark on the vernier scale. So we find the zero point on the vernier scale right there and see that it's pointing in between these two tick marks on the major scale. The zero is pointing between the 1.2 and the 1.3. And then we simply find where on the, on the vernier scale we see a match on the major scale. So as we study the sliding scale, it looks like the 6.5 mark lines up best. Okay, start by looking at the fifth mark on the sliding scale, and as we go across, to the eighth mark, we see that things are not lined up until we're right somewhere in the middle there at six and a half. So we'd read this number as 1.2, because the zeros pass the 1.2, 1.265. That's centimeters. 1.265 centimeters, where the uncertainty is 0.005 centimeters.